Today is April 25th. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from 1 Peter chapter 2. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. This passage offers us a picture of an exchange, impure for pure, evil for good. Peter makes us think of a newborn infant being filled up with healthy and whole nutrition that leads to their growth and development. Think for a moment about the past few days and what kinds of things are filling you up. What has your attention? What do you watch or listen to or scroll past? Are the things that fill you up things that are leading to your spiritual flourishing? Does what you watch or listen to lead towards spiritual maturity and Christ-likeness? Or are you maybe putting your attention in places that stir up things like malice or envy? Let's listen to this brief scripture one more time. And pay attention to the one word or phrase that stands out to you. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. I have a friend who's an amazing friend. When he brings a new snack to our small group, after each bite, someone literally will say, oh my gosh, this is so good. Have you experienced that ever? Maybe at your favorite restaurant or your grandmother's house. Peter's using these words to remind his listener that we've tasted the goodness of God ourselves. We've experienced it in a real and impactful way. And he's reminding us that we should exchange the darkness and impurity of the world for the refreshing, revitalizing, and reassuring goodness of God.
as we end our time of prayer. Plan to take time today to reflect on moments in your spiritual life where you've tasted the goodness of God. You might even want to journal for a few minutes right now about those moments. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Jesus. Nobody like, nobody like him. Nobody like, nobody like, nobody like him. My Jesus. Nobody like, nobody like. Oh.